Well, hello, and happy Easter. Easter will be here in a couple of days. And so I'm gonna show you a couple of cute little projects I'm working on, I uh, have ready for Easter. And we're just gonna make some wooden uh, bunnies and some messages to put into those plastic Easter eggs. So we'll do those two projects. Let's go ahead and get started. First of all, the things you need, you need two little, two little nails like that and a piece of fabric that will, it's, this is a felt material that will go in between the ears, two wooden noses, a foam brush, white and brown paint, two blocks, different sizes, some wire for, can you see the wire? I'll put it on here. Wire for their um, whiskers, about just little wires, about four each. And this is for the bunny ears. And then this piece will be for the ears and two blocks of wood, ribbon, and scissors and pinking shears, and some material. So, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, take your blocks and we're going to whitewash them. It's just some, I'm just going to pour the paint on the newspaper here and just paint them. Get them all colored nice. The tops. Let's do the same with this block. Okay, let those dry a little bit. Okay, while those are drying, get the little round balls and we're going to paint them brown. Get your brown paint. Get your brown paint. Kind of hard to hold on to so I just got a little straw here. Let that dry. Get the other one. Just paint it quick. While those dry, the no while the nose is drying, take your brown brush and kind of make some little stripes up there for the, for the bunny, just a little. I don't want it way brown. some little stripes up there. Do the sides, just kind of add a little bit of depth to it. And we'll come back when these are dry. Okay. Get some of that brown off. We don't want it too brown. back when this is dry. Well, those are still drying so let's cut those ears out. I got pinking shears. Okay and these ears are 10 and a half by 12 and a half and I'm just going to draw it on there. Two of these for each ear. I mean each bunny and I'm just going to use our jammies material. Just use whatever you want. And then I need two of the insides. This is that felt material. Okay, we'll cut those out with our pinking shears. And you use pinking shears, then you don't have to. Uh, Turn it inside out and then it won't fray and we don't have to turn them inside out. Okay, and you just put that batting on the inside. One material, top and the bottom, and that will be one ear. See? Now let's get the other one cut out. Put the batting on the inside. 
There's the other one's ear, so you've got the ear. And then for the ribbon, seven inches long. I'm going to cut that at a diagonal. That will go on that one, diagonal. And I'm going to put purple with that. Easter colors. Seven and a half inches long. Then, however long your ribbon is, I'm going to sew around here to hold these together. Okay, you can sew them with the sewing machine or with the needle and thread with some embroidering floss. I'll just sew with the sewing machine since I have one. There's the two ears uh, sewn together. And if you don't have a sewing machine, just get this embroidery floss and stitch that around the edges. So they're just so they're dry. It didn't take long to try. Now see these two noses? We're gonna glue them on there. And I have a glue gun, so I'm gonna plug that in. And I cut out a couple of little hearts to put on the, the bunnies that match the ears. So I got one for each bunny. While I'm waiting for the glue gun to heat up, take your ears and the ribbon. I'm going to use that floss for my string to tie these guys. Scrunch it up, turn it over. There's your cute little bunny ears on top of the bunny like that. Hey, I got myself a hammer. I have a hammer. And we're just going to nail that right into the bunny's head. Those ears ain't going nowhere. Okay, next one, those ears on there. Okay, now let's glue the nose on. Pile of glue. Okay, now I've got a black marker. Just do two little dots for the eyes. Two little beady eyes. See that? My glue gun. Glue those on there. Okay. Next, I've got three whiskers for the little one and four for the big one. Just twist those together so they don't come apart. So I'm just going to take a pencil and wrap the ends around a pencil, like that. And then they are curly. Okay, let's wrap those around the nose. There we go. Let's put some glue there to hold that still. Okay, spread the whiskers out a little bit so you can see them. There we go. And that's your little bunny. And I have these cute little heart buttons, so I'm going to glue one on the heart here. Kind of add some depth to it and decorate it how you want. See how cute these turned out? They got their little bunny ears and the heart oh, and the little beady eyes and the whiskers and the cute little ears on top, and I made them matching. You can make them different, but those are really cute. Okay, another thing you can do for Easter is get yourself an egg carton and get those plastic eggs. I haven't got them yet. I gotta go to the store and get some. But um, in the egg carton, you're going to put a piece of red felt, two dice, a cross made out of toothpicks, a piece of soap, uh, some dirt, you know, the potting soil, th um, three dimes for silver, a sacrament cup, you see that? A rock, a piece of twine, a nail, a little nail that will fit in the egg, and some herbs, and a piece of white cloth, and one that's empty. Okay, go ahead and put these in eggs. Okay, I've got the eggs now, and we're gonna number them one, one to 12. So I'll do that. 
Okay, I've got them all numbered and filled up. And then when the kids open each one, then you can read it what it is. Okay, that's a nice little Easter project. Well, I hope you like that DIY on how to make a little, little wooden bunnies with ears. It's just really cute. And hope you have a happy Easter. And thank you and goodbye.